नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अप द टॉपिक रिस्क असेसमेंट यू ऑफनली लिसन दिस दैट देयर इज अ रिस्क देयर इज अ ह्यूज रिस्क देयर इज अ लिटिल रिस्क बट इन द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द बिजनेस और इन द वर्क एनवायरनमेंट और एट द शॉप फ्लोर वी कैन नॉट स्पीक लाइक दैट वी शुड हैव अ सर्टेन नंबर वी हैव टू सर्टेन मेजरमेंट दैट हाउ कैन वी से दिस हाउ मच इज द रिस्क एंड हाउ मच इज इट मे कॉज यू हार्म so before moving on we need to know some of the terminology that we will use during this discussion so the first one is a risk assessment a risk assessment can be done to uh, anything at a particular place at a particular sub- substances or at a particular circumstances that may cause that have the potential to cause you harm hazard means the anything that have potential to cause you harm the second one is consequence consequence is the outcome of any event or any hazardous event the third one is likelihood likelihood is simply the number of chances that may happen and the risk risk is the combination of any hazardous events likelihood and their severity of the harm now the risk in likelihood into consequences when likelihood is com- uh, multiplied with the consequences this gives a factor and that is called risk factor that is absolute number in the process this first of all we have to identify the hazards identify who might be harmed and how the second one is evaluate the risk and record the finding recording is much important to not happen it again and then the review and update the necessary to know it in more detail we have to go this the process that we have to do like if the number that you get the risk assessment if it is uh, its likelihood is 5 that means this circumstances this circumstances this hazard almost certain then the number 4 the number 4 is it is likely that means possibly it may occur or it has occurred several times in a year then the possible possible means it has occurred it once or more than once then the third unlikely unlikely means it has occurred but not in near past it has occurred in the long run and in the some time somewhere some places it has happened then uh, the last one the number one is highly unlikely that means there is harm the possibility of harm but it has never happened then the second one uh, evaluating the severity of the consequences so the consequence again uh, we have five numbers the five the fifth one is the catastrophic that means there are multiple fatalities the personnel who get injured will never come back from the normal working life in the work normal working life then there is four there four is a single fatality like uh, handicapped the number 3 is serious injury which requiring off site treatment or may be hospitalized for a number of days then number 2 is minor minor is on site treatment required like somebody slipped at the floor uh, he need to be taken care of immediately by uh, some of the bandage by of some of the first aid but uh, he cannot work their normal duty by today itself by the day of the injury happened then the number uh, the number one is negligible negligible means it uh, required the casualty required simple first aid and after that he will start their job as normal as he was doing it before now uh, evaluating the risk as i said earlier that likelihood is multiplied by the consequences so you will have the number and you will get this risk factor after this uh, how we calculate this likelihood the number i said that like number 5 number 4 number 3 so how to calculate this so there is a uh, certain procedure and the procedure says uh, first of all you make the list task work that means you make a list that what ever the activity right from uh, getting the raw material in your compound to the fg 
after preparation uh, fg goes to the dispatch so from material raw material get in to the fg dispatch so all the activity to be recorded and this activity you have to remember the first one location people equipment if any you use like in the uh, getting the raw material you are using the forklift or hand lift and when it comes to the process it needs number of machines number of lines to be processed and after that you getting off from the line storage and again loading into the dispatching truck then the <coughs> all the activity to be recorded very carefully that you don't miss even a single activity then identify the risk identify the risk at every location that there is likelihood there is severity so at, at every stage you have to find your number and how it may affect either it is the people or to the equipment or the property of the organization then record the findings and after that a senior person a experienced person should review this findings and then after then evaluate and after this evaluating you will get the numbers and the final number that will be your risk factor this risk factor we need to reassess that how we uh, act after the risk factor we got the risk is like if you get the number 1 to 2 this is very low in that case superficial harm possible like intangible harm possible but tangibly it is not going to happen anything so you can continue your activity without introducing any additional control measure or that means your uh, current existing practice is good you must continue without care of anything then the 3 and 4 so if the number comes if your risk factor is 3 or 4 so that is to be considered low and in that low minor harm possible minor injury may be possible so either you introduce a additional control or the work related work supervisor should be intimated and he should be aware that there is some harm there is some risk factor in that particular line then the third one is 5 to 10 if there is 5 to 10 this is called moderate so moderate is here that you must look for the alternative how to continue this activity and your department manager should be informed you must take approval from him then the fourth one is 12 to 16 if your risk factor is 12 to 16 that means there is high risk in that case you must look for the alternatives or you must implement additional control measure and apart from that your factory manager the your factory head must be informed and you should have approval before you start the job then the last one is the risk factor 20 to 25 that is very high very high means serious harm possible may be possible multiple fatality so at this stage even for the approval you must introduce uh, many many additional controls to avoid this and head of the organization like director ceo must be informed and the authority if someone like hospital staff that he should know that there may be some causes so you prior intimation to be there and after implementing the control measure you start the job but these all people uh, must be given you approval to go ahead then uh, after all this uh, activity that you do and you not do then the question is how you remove this risk factor how to reduce that risk factor so the first is uh, if you go to the acronym this is eric pd E R I C P D, where E is eliminate the risk, R is for the reduce the risk, then I I for isolate like the power issue is there the power uh, hazard from the power that you can isolate and you can introduce another line, then control the risk. Control the risk is meaning. Uh, you have to introduce some mini control measure if there is a problem of the manpower you can introduce one more man person one more uh, people or you may introduce some another light or something there may be that you can 
control this then the ppe must be the p for the ppe that whatever for the uh, certain activity there are certain uh, equipment that you must be equipped before to start the job so personal protective equipment ppe must be worn if there is issue of some such as cases then there is d develop of self system of work develop of self system of work means uh, maintaining the discipline that we have learned from there that this is the risk factor and we should not go ahead without the approval of certain authority these all steps to be monitored evaluated and documented on periodic basis most probably this must be introduced when you are introducing new equipment uh, or new activity or the new people or people is uh, from the la- uh, from the long time in the organization but he is uh, at different activity he was engaged in different activity and now doing different activity so in both the cases you must do the risk assessment thank you very much we will wait for your feedback